Hi guys and welcome back to Ask the Pro. My name is Derek Asamoah and today's question is how to get scouted or how do I get scouted? This video is not about how to impress a scout. I will answer that question in a different video. So guys, before we start, who is a scout? A lot of people think a scout is somebody that's assigned by a football team to go and look for talent, which is true. But in my eyes, a scout could be absolutely anybody, okay? So don't just look for people with club logos or badges on their clothes, okay? A scout can be anyone. A scout could be a friend of a scout. A scout could be a sister of a manager. I can be a scout. So then they, if I go to watch a game and I see someone who's really good, I have enough contacts to say, yo, I need you to come and look at this kid. He's really good. And I would recommend that you send him to this and this club. Person that will scout you, seven out of 10 times you get scouted. The person that scouts you is not directly a scout for a football team. It could be the sister of the scout, the brother of the, the scout, the sister of the manager of a football team, um, the cousin or the uncle. It could be absolutely anyone. So keep that open mind and don't just think that a scout is somebody with badges or as somebody that's assigned by a particular club to go and look for players. Anybody can be a scout, okay? Just remember that. Right, let's get into it. I get asked this question an awful lot by kids. How do I get scouted? And this is just one of the many ways to break into professional football. Guys, to be scouted, you need to be actively playing football, which means you need to be playing for your local team, your school team, your semi-professional team, or even playing with your friends. It could be a, a seven aside tournament, it could be a um, futsal tournament. It doesn't matter where it is, you just need to be playing football actively. You cannot get scouted sitting at home playing PlayStation. It's impossible. It's like winning the lottery. You cannot win the lottery if you don't play the lottery. It's impossible. That's the most important thing I can, I can say to you. Play football actively. The second piece of advice I'll give you is when you're playing football, make sure you're taking it serious. It doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter if you're playing for your local team. It doesn't matter if you're playing for a semi-professional team. It doesn't matter if you're just messing about with your friends. Play like it's your last time you're ever gonna play football. You need to have this mindset if you're serious about football, okay? It's very important. So every single time you play football, make sure you're working hard make sure you're playing your best make sure there's no oh it's just a mess about with my friends take every game you play seriously it doesn't matter what level you're playing at just play at your 100 percent maximum every single time you are playing football because you just never know who's watching so don't go into a game thinking that i've not been contacted by any scout or no scouts are coming to watch me they don't have to come to watch you they could be watching one of your teammates or um, one of the players from the opposite team as long as you put 110% into it and you stand out, the scout will no doubt get in contact with you. That's the second most important advice I can give you is to take every game serious. Play every game like it's your last, no matter the level, no matter the competition, no matter if you're alone, no matter if you're just with friends, take it serious, get good habits, okay? Just an example, I went to my local seven aside field just to do some drills or top up on my fitness. And I came across this kid training on his own. So I was really intrigued because he was really, really good on the ball. I went and spoke to him and asked him if he plays for any team and what he's doing about football. I ended up taking his contact details and passing it on to one of my friends who was a scout. He ended up fixing the trial based on my recommendation. If this kid was just on the pitch, just messing about and going through the motion, I would not have spoken to him because somehow I could see his hunger and determination and then the amount of effort he's putting into his training. It made me want to go and speak to him and find out about him. I was intrigued about him. So guys, just to recap. One is to be visible. Make yourself visible. Sign up for a team, play for a team, keep playing football. It doesn't matter the level. Two, when you are playing football, whether it's with your friends or with your team, it doesn't matter the level. Make sure you're putting 110% into your game. 110% into everything you do on that pitch. And three, you just never know who's watching you, okay? You just never know who's watching you. It could be a friend of a friend of a friend. Before you know it, somebody's contacting you. Guys, a short video. I hope these three tips will help you get out there and get scouted. If you have any more questions, you're more than welcome to ask me. Like I said, I will make a video about how to impress a scout. This video is about how to put yourself in a position to get scouted okay so guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video